Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to install different extensions and shaders into Clateam. Usually whenever you need uh, extensions or objects uh, installed, you can usually just go to Clateam's extension manager through here. Just search up whatever object you're looking for and just install it wherever. But uh, sometimes what happens is you run into a situation where you're looking for an object that isn't available through the extension manager, so you need to go online and uh, download the extension through there. Now the first thing you're probably wondering is how am I even going to get extensions that aren't available through ClickTeam's extension manager? Where am I even going to find them? Well, one of the best places to get extensions and especially shaders is a site known as Darkwire. I know this looks like a dark website, but like trust me, it isn't. It's actually like really good and helpful. So Darkwire basically is uh, just a storage area for a bunch of different ClickTeam extensions and shaders. There's a page for extensions, which is this page here. And then there's also a page for shaders, which I'll show you how to install both. Because shaders especially uh, are notorious for not really having much archive like in ClickTeam's engine or anything. You kind of have to find them uh, online almost exclusively. Uh, so Darkwire is the best place to do that. Uh, so we got both a page for shaders and extensions. So what we're going to do is because this is, uh, you know, a set of files we're getting online, we'll have to download them and then manually install them into ClickTeam's directory. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, pick a random extension here to download just for showcase. Okay, so once you've downloaded your object, uh, you're going to uh, unzip the folder uh, because with extensions, you're usually going to have several different folders that are going to have all their different directories on ClickTeam. So the easiest way to do this is to just select all of this stuff. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our ClickTeam Steam directory. As soon as you get to your ClickTeam directory here, uh, we're, we're just going to stop right at our ClickTeam Fusion 2.5 folder. And we're just literally going to press Control V. But uh, obviously, since I already have the string tokenizer, we're just going to say replace the files at destination. But it won't do that uh, if you're getting a new extension, obviously. And basically, this is just going to paste all of the files that are necessary to uh, install your extension into the right paths. So now when we go into click team, and if you click on refresh, the object that you just installed should appear in your object list whenever you're trying to create a new object. Now I'm going to talk a bit about shaders for a second. Now what shaders are in ClickTeam are essentially just visual effects or, you know, different effects that uh, you can use to essentially visually enhance your game. Uh, you can use shaders uh, in different objects by going to your display option settings and then uh, in this tab right here called effect and then where it says none to the right we can click on edit and it'll give us a list of different shaders that we can use in order to basically enhance our object now obviously when you first get click team you're not going to have extensions as wide as i will i pretty much essentially downloaded nearly all of these you'll have like the standard effects i think but that's pretty much it so essentially what we're gonna do is go back to our uh shader site here we're just gonna find a random uh effect to download well we can download this like glitch effect here okay so once you get your effect uh you're going to see a folder with a whole bunch of different files inside. Uh, what we're gonna do is, just like with the extensions, we're gonna select all of this and cut it, and then go back to our ClickTeam Steam directory. And this time, we're gonna go to this folder in specific here called Effects. This is essentially where all of the data for our shaders is located. Go there, and then uh, just Control V. I guess we already have the glitch effect. And that's essentially, how you download shaders. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna go back to our active object, click on none, click edit. Uh, obviously, if you're already on this page, you can press refresh. 
and uh, you should have that specific effect now. So anyways, that is how you install extensions and shaders in QuickTame. I hope I explained that well enough. I kind of made this video on a whim just because in my next tutorial on how to make a FNAF fan game in QuickTeam, uh, I'm going to be using an extension that isn't available through QuickTeam's extension manager. So having this video out here uh, ahead of time will kind of help in getting people to know just how this kind of thing works because you're probably going to have to use this knowledge if you're really serious about making games in QuickTeam. Alright, see ya.